You know, trying to distinguish between what I find attractive and what I consider cool, especially when it comes to cars from the late 70s and early 80s, is like trying to decide between pizza and tacos at a buffet. Both are appealing in their own way. But hey, I'm quite content with this lineup. Sure, on a different day, I might have come up with a completely different list of snazzy rides, but the cars you'll see here in this video have a pretty good track record of making the cut. As always, we're all ears for your comments on these choices. The comment section is right below this video. We'll be waiting for your witty remarks and wild car opinions. This is the story of the best looking cars of 1978. Chrysler Cordoba, elegantly designed, luxuriously appointed, and now is the time At number 10, the 1978 Chrysler Cordoba. The distinctive styling of the Cordoba featured a unique design that set it apart from the other cars of its time. Its sleek, elegant lines and distinctive front end with the iconic Corinthian kit hood ornament gave it a luxury appearance. The interior was opulent, with comfortable seats upholstered in what Chrysler referred to as Corinthian leather. While the term was mostly a marketing gimmick, it did add to the luxury of the car. See what's new At today. number 9, the 1978 Caprice Classic. With its prominent front grille, rectangular headlights, and an elongated body, the Caprice Classic had a commanding presence on the road. Its full-size design offered a spacious cabin, making it an ideal choice for families and individuals who valued comfort and space. You are looking at a magic means of transportation. New Dodge Magnum XE. Number 8, the 1978 Dodge Magnum. Though fashionably late to the personal luxury coupe party, the 1978 Dodge Magnum XE still captured the essence of its era. The Magnum sported a contemporary quad rectangular headlamp arrangement featuring significantly sloped transparent flip-down covers. The hood's character lines also matched the new front end design. At number 7, the 1978 Lincoln Mark V. The Mark V forged a path to profitability via padded roofs, neoclassic opera windows, and needlessly ornate trim atop an otherwise pedestrian vehicle. Its blade-like overhangs, covered headlights, and ridiculous proportions took the Mark V to a place that the recently downsized Coupe de Ville couldn't touch. Midnight is mystery. Midnight is excitement. Now, midnight is Cougar, the Midnight Cat. We're counting down, and number six, the 1978 Mercury Cougar. The 1978 Mercury Cougar, which was part of the fourth generation of the Cougar line, featured distinct exterior styling that reflected the design trends of the late 1970s. The revised front end adopted a large radiator-style grille and four rectangular headlamps. Number 5, the 1978 Pontiac Grand Prix. For 1978, the Grand Prix was right there and up to date in my view. Many of the transitional Grand Prix styling cues were retained, albeit in smaller packaging. Neoclassical grill? Check. Long doors? Check. Brome options such as Landau roofs with opera windows, crush velour interiors and wire wheel covers? Double check. Chevrolet Camaro, the driver's car. At number four, the 1978 Camaro. You know, as a teen growing up in the 70s, who didn't want a Camaro back in the day? Camaro featured a new body-colored urethane front and rear bumper. The Z28 featured a non-functioning hood scoop with outlining decal around the intake. The taillights were updated to include amber turn signals. Another first for 1978 was T-Tops. Although they were a regular production option on the 1977 Pontiac Firebird and were introduced on the 1976 Pontiac Trans Am Limited Edition. Discover that great cutlass feeling along the highways of your mind in Cutlass Supreme Brome. 
Hey, we're counting them down. The best looking cars for 1978. Did you have one so far on our list? Let us know what you drove and what you think were the best looking cars for 1978. Next on the list, the 1978 Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme. You know, Oldsmobile downsized the Cutlass for 1978, and would you be able to guess what happened to sales? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. You know, you know, despite the smaller size, sales really were undiminished. More than half a million Cutlasses flooded American driveways in 78. Coming in at number two, the 1978 Chevrolet Corvette. You know, few cars in automotive history have garnered the same level of admiration and awe as the Chevrolet Corvette, and the 1978 model year was no exception. The 1978 Corvette, with its bold athletic exterior design, epitomized the spirit of American muscle and sports cars. You know, one of the most iconic features of the 1978 Corvette was its shark-inspired front end. The car's elongated nose with retractable headlights, a signature of the C3 generation, gave it a distinct predatory look. Its family name, Firebird, an Indian symbol that promises youth, beauty, okay, and strength. Okay, my top pick for the best-looking cars of 1978, number one. The 1978 Pontiac Trans Am. You know, in the late 70s when American muscle cars were in the midst of transition, the 1978 Pontiac Trans Am emerged as a beacon of bold design and unbashed performance. The 1978 Trans Am's aggressive front end was its defining feature, dominated by a bold iconic hood scoop and that distinctive split grille design. Oh, and what about that screaming chicken hood decal? You know, there were a few things for me on the uh, Trans Am that I owned, the 78 Trans Am that I owned. I remember the front parking lights. It's, it's dusk, and I had the parking lights on. The car was washed. It was awesome. That wraps up the best-looking cars for 1978. What cars did we miss? What cars do you think or car do you think was the best-looking car for 78? Let us know in the comments below. Hey, as usual, thanks to all of our subscribers who help our channel grow. You know, we really do appreciate it. If you're not a subscriber, help us out and subscribe, right? It's free. We won't bother you. All you need to do is like, subscribe, and hit the bell for any future notifications. Hey, this is Michael J. with the Boker Brothers YouTube channel. We'll see you again next weekend.